Kia ora, uh, I'm Darcel Apalu. I'm a lecturer on the Bachelor of Creative Industries based at the Poika campus for Tohu Mai in Tauranga. I've been with the union since I started in 2015, so I'm going on nearly eight years. I come from a, a family that's always been in unions. Collective understanding around employment and actually being a unit is way more powerful than being an individual. Really early on, I always wanted to I'd be an artist, so I would do all these things, and it did come to fruition. What can I do in terms of a career that would also support my lifestyle? So going into teaching um, and then actually finding my place in tertiary education and realising that there's definitely some, I don't know if perks is the right word, but I guess perks for being in, that, in the industry because you get to work, I get to work in an art and design focused area really strongly and be a part of the industry um, as well. So that's that was part of my decision to go into that area. But being around students, seeing their growth, even just being a part of a little bit of their step you know, with their journey is really rewarding. Yeah, I think yeah, once I realised I had burnout or that I was overloaded, I, I reached out to friends and family, but also to my um, my management and said, look, I can't, I need to have this reduced or, or, in, or in order for me not to be so burnt out and to actually give you my best work. And so I was very lucky that I had um, management support that we were able to go yes we understand and and you know move that forward i felt like i was moving more towards the admin side than actually being teaching so that was the trying to get back to the teaching mode it's not just the teaching hours it's all the pastoral support that you give students outside of that space um does take up a bit of time and, and energy and not in a bad way but you want to be able to give as much time as you can i think one of the issues was just some institutions using a blanket blanket reasoning for not actually giving people what they need and there was a moment where they said oh look, we'll give you three extra days of leave but we're not going to up your pay and it felt like a bit of a slap in the face so yeah i think the the perception of of teaching even teaching in general is that you know you're only in front of the classroom from you know nine to three or nine to one whatever the hours are that you have your with your pupils or your students it is it is all the other um admin work surrounding that the the marking the pastoral support making sure that like for me it's really important to have the appropriate resources for all of my classes and that I'm giving as much as I can to students. So having that time to do that is benefiting the students overall and the institution overall as well. And some of the, the hidden expectations uh, is this idea around student numbers. There's this kind of, I wouldn't say insidious, but this kind of undertow of there's no student numbers, your, your job's gone. So I would love to be able to inspire and um, pull people into my industry I think there's a part of that kind of business oriented mindset to get people in bums on seats, but actually the value of education should always be the top priority.